हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर आशीष मनमाई एंड वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर टू ऑन हाउ टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ केल ट्रांसफॉर्म और होटलिंग ट्रांसफॉर्म सो लेट्स कंसीडर द सेकंड प्रॉब्लम नाउ सो ओवर हियर द क्वेश्चन इज टू फाइंड द केल ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ अ टू क्रॉस टू इमेज गिवन ओवर हियर सो इमेज इज फोर माइनस टू माइनस वन थ्री so if you observe over here the image is not symmetric or a is not symmetric okay so obviously a transpose will be different than what we have at a so in this case you will get that a transpose as 4 minus 1 minus 2 3 okay and correspondingly we can find out what is a transpose so substitute the value of a and a transpose multiply these two matrices so we will get get a a transpose as 20 Minus ten, minus ten, ten, and similarly we can find a transpose a. So substitute what is a transpose and a, multiply these two matrices. So we will get the result as seventeen minus eleven minus eleven thirteen. So you can clearly see that a a transpose is not same as a transpose a. Okay, so we will have different u and different v in this particular case. Okay, uh, the columns of U are nothing but the normalized eigenvectors of A transpose. Okay, so we need to find what are the normalized eigenvectors of A transpose, and that will give us U. Okay, so for that we will first find the eigenvalues of A transpose. So I will have determinant of A transpose minus lambda i equal to zero. So along the diagonal I will have minus lambda term. So I will have 20 minus lambda minus 10 minus 10 10 minus lambda. Okay, so we are finding determinant of it that is equal to zero. So if you solve this, you will get the equation as lambda square minus 30 lambda plus 100 equal to zero, and the corresponding eigen value that is lambda one and lambda two will be 26. Eight one nine seven. Okay, now we need to find the eigenvectors of A transpose. So for each lambda, we will find the eigenvector. So for lambda one equal to twenty six point one eight zero three, we will solve A A transpose minus lambda one i into x equal to zero. So substitute for lambda one. So we will have twenty minus lambda one minus ten minus ten. 10 minus lambda 1, and this matrix is multiplied by vector x1, x2, and that is equal to zero vector. So when you substitute for lambda 1 over here, that is this value, you will get it as okay this matrix shown over here. Okay, and then we will uh, proceed to find the corresponding eigen vector. So there will be two values, x1 and x2. So I will have the two numerator terms as x1 and minus x2. Okay, so first term will have a positive sign, second term will have a negative sign, divided by the determinant terms. Okay, so determinant keep in the column and the last row. So over here, if I go for the first term, then I will skip the first column and last row. So I will get it at minus two. For second term, I will skip the last column and last row. I will get it as minus six point one eight zero three. Okay, so these terms will come over here. So minus ten and minus six point one eight zero three. This minus sign and this minus sign will cancel. So I will get my u one as minus ten and six point one eight zero three. Okay, we will then normalize it. So when you normalize, you will find the norm of vector u one. Sorry, L two norm of vector u one that will be square root of minus ten square plus. Six point one eight zero three square, and that value will be created as eleven point seven five five seven. So divide each term by this value, you will get it as minus zero point eight five zero seven and zero point five two five seven. So this is my normalized vector u one. So u one n. Now we will repeat this process for lambda two. Okay, so we will find the eigen vector corresponding to lambda two. So lambda two is three point eight one nine seven. So we will solve a transpose minus lambda two i x equal to 
zero. Okay, so this is how the matrix representation will look like. Substitute the value of lambda two. So corresponding matrix will become like this. And now we will have two numeric terms as plus x one and minus x two. For the first denominator term, it will I will keep the first column and last row, so I will get it as minus ten. For second term over here, I will keep the second column and last row, so I will get sixteen point one eight zero three. Okay, so that will be over here. And now this minus sign, I can bring it in the denominator. So I will have my first vector value as minus ten, and second value of the vector will be minus sixteen point one eight zero three. Okay, so that is over here. Okay, so since both have a minus sign over here, I can multiply the vector by minus one, and still it becomes a valid eigen vector because of the scaling property. So I can write it as ten and sixteen point one eight zero two. So this will be my second eigen vector. I normalize this, so I find what is the L two norm of U two. So that is nineteen point zero two one one. I divide each term by this 19.0211, and I will get the corresponding normalized eigen vector that is u2 and as 0.5257 and 0.8507, and hence I can find my matrix U, which is composed of eigen vector u1n and u2n, or I can say normalized eigen vector u1n and u2n. So this is my first normalized eigen vector, and this is my second normalized eigen vector. Now here we have found matrix U. Same process. Now we will repeat for matrix V. Only thing is now it will be A transpose A. That is what we are going to solve for. Okay. So my columns of V will be normalized eigen vectors of A transpose A. So I will first find the eigen values of A transpose A. Okay. So it will be A transpose A minus Lambda i equal to zero, or determinant of a transpose a minus lambda i equal to zero. So when you solve, you will get the equation as lambda square minus thirty lambda plus hundred equal to zero. Okay, and the corresponding eigen values you will get it as twenty six point one eight zero three and three point eight one nine seven. For each of these, you will proceed and find the eigen vectors. Okay. So for lambda one, it will become a transpose a minus lambda one i x equal to zero. Okay, so follow the steps as we have done earlier. Okay, find the determinants, skipping the column and the last row, and you will get your first eigen vector. Now in this case, it will be v one as minus eleven and nine point one eight zero three. So to normalize it, find the L2 norm of B1. So that L2 norm in this case you will get it as 14.3275. Okay, and when you divide each term of B1 by this L2 norm, you will get the normalized eigen vector B1n as minus 0.7678 and 0.6407. Okay, for lambda two, that is three point eight one nine seven. Okay, you will solve a transpose a minus lambda two i x equal to zero. So substitute the value, and when you get the or when you find the values, you will get. Okay, over here you can see there is a negative term, a minus term in the numerator, denominator. You can bring it over here. So both terms will be now negative. So my v2, that is the second eigen vector, will be minus 11 and minus 13.1803. Since I have negative sign for all the terms, I can obviously multiply it by minus one, and it will become 11 and 13.1803. Okay. Now to normalize it, again we will find the L2 norm of v2, that is v2 of uh, v2 L2 norm of two. And that will become seventeen point one six seven four. So divide each term of V two by this L two norm. You will get the normalized vector V as V two n. Okay, and that will be zero point six four zero seven. 
and 0 0.7678 and now we will get the matrix V okay there is a typo over here let me just correct it okay so it will be matrix V over here that will be composed of uh, normalized eigenvectors B1N and B2N so this is my first normalized eigenvector and this is my second normalized eigenvector so now we can find the transformed image so the transform image that is capital lambda will be u transpose a v so substitute the u transpose value over here value of a and value of v perform the matrix multiplication and finally you will get your result okay so over here my final transform image will be 5.1168 1.9545 okay so again my non-zero terms will be only along the principal diagonal and other terms that is this and this term will be zero